Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today we're going to make a version, a different colour, etc. of this card. Okay, so I got, I got this stencil set from Temu. It's Paw Prints and Hearts. I bought this stamp and die set from Amazon and it's got kitty cats on it. Okay. And I used these uh, hunky dory moonstone shaped dies to cut out my shapes. Now I'm trying to keep an eye out because Fluffy's keeps trying to st every time I stand up Fluffy keeps getting on my seat so I'm trying to, t to reach without standing <laughs> so let's just start with our stenciling right. now once again I um, checked what way they went and put a number in the corner for each of them okay so this is number one and I'm lining it up just to the left hand side there and I'm using Fresh Freesia Gorgeous Grape and Blackberry Bliss. So I think I think I think I think I smell a stink. Uh, do I want the hearts and blackberry? I'd rather have the hearts and the fresh freesia. So we'll go gorgeous grape and blackberry bliss for our paw prints. Okay, so we're using our dye ink brushes today. So we are. And this is a cute little 5x5 five five card. Um, I bought some in the works when I went over to Korean a couple of weeks ago. So I want to use them up. I think it's nice to change up your change up your um backgrounds or card sizes I mean change up your card sizes doesn't do it any harm right now we're going blackberry bliss okay I don't use this colour very often. It seems quite dry considering the fact that I rarely use it. Is it big? But I've got the hiccups. That's what I get for trying to speed up Russian so that Fluffy can get on my seat again. First of all she was lying on the desk and the minute I got up to do something she gets up and she sneaks onto my seat and I have two seats here but um, I need the one on this side to camera to film with because my stand is on attached to my desk back there so it is. So that's stencil number two. And now we're doing stencil number three. And each time I'm lining it up, just 
of the edge there and that way you get no overlock right here. Hold on a minute. I find out where these brushes are going. I need a lighter one for that. So let's use this one for the fresh freesia hearts and see how this rocks and rolls. Okay. And once again. I'm using a layering stencil. I am really, really getting into these layering stencils for creating my background. They're so easy to use. And I use a waffle flower grip mat on this tonic uh, it's a magnetic mat. Um, that I got for using stencils with but when the waffle flower grip mats came out I got one of those and put it on here and now I don't need the magnets at all there we go that is our background now before we go any further I've already cut out my shapes and I want to put one little heart up there. Like that. Okay. I've got a little mark there, but... Right. And this time I'm using... This kitty, this is the one that I found. Let me see. There's a wee mark there. Right. So that's going to go on there. I want to do my sentiment. But I think I want to do it in the Blackberry Bliss, actually. Well, sure, why not? We'll just give it the darkest colour. There we go. That's our sentiment done. Right, take that in there and put that in there and get that off there and we'll clean that in a minute. We'll clean everything else in a minute. So I have my black background down to four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Okay. that right and then we're going to put this down as well to uh, four and a half ish four and a half ish by four and a half ish okay and then that is going to go on top of there like that. And you can't see then that I have cut out my shape from the inside. So there's my shape there and this is my white one. And we're just going to put it on there like that. 
Okay. Now we want to put some some foam on the back of this thingy me jigger. This little kitty cat. So we do. We need him. We need them to stand proud and all that crap. Right. And I just use whichever foam tape I find available. I I tidied out myself the other day, I tidied out and I found these foam things from Stumpin' Up, so I just am using them up as well. So Waste not, want not. Isn't that what they say? And then I'm cutting a couple of bits of foam tape. On the back of that. And that is going to go on there. Like that. And it is so quick and easy because that's a silhouette stamp. I stamped them all out at the same time. So I did. And um then I have them ready. So now we want to put our warmest wishes on a little bit of glue and basically that's our little card done easy peasy isn't that what we need quick cards that are cute and because these cards a lot of these cards go to the animal shelter so they do I am um, okay so I finished it off um, I just added a few gems and there we have two cards that are cute and perfect for my local animal shelter so thank you for stopping by much appreciated hope you liked it hope you'll thumbs up subscribe comment I've also finished off the insides with a little, couple of little scraps of the paper I made. As I'm trying to put at least something inside my cards these years. This year, so thank you for stopping by, much appreciated. I hope you're all safe and well. And until the next time, jack you out.